so, so Pamis um, were co-founders of the Changing Place Toilet Consortium um, well over 12 years ago. Um, and it, it started out basically because there, there weren't any facilities for people that have a profound learning and multiple disabilities. So, so there are no toilets. Um, and unless you have a changing bench and a toilet with a tracking hoist, people aren't able to have their personal care needs met. So families came to us as an organisation, PAMIS, and, and highlighted that that was the, the biggest barrier to them going out. Well, at the National Galleries of Scotland, we're really passionate about um, um, being as accessible and welcoming as possible um, we're really passionate about the role and um, the positive role that art and creativity can play in people's lives so learning more about the changing places toilet was, was really important for us and um, really learning about how the lack of those facilities um, can exclude people was quite stark there are um, very few change of places toilets in the United Kingdom at the moment. So there are uh, around 1,300 toilets in the UK and uh, just under 200 of those are in Scotland. So actually to have one here at the National Galleries of Scotland is fantastic because there are actually very few cultural venues in Scotland that currently provide change of places toilets for people. So I think there are actually only around six museums in the whole of Scotland, which is really something that we need to work hard to change. The Porta Cab and Changing Places facility worked well for National Galleries because they couldn't um, make any internal changes to their building. There was nowhere within the building that would work um, to, to fit out this facility. So the fact that it can be standalone on the grounds that ticked all the boxes for National Galleries. Okay, so in a Changing Places facility, um, and in this facility we've got here, we've got a ceiling track hoist system. Um, it's an XY system, so it covers the whole room. As well as that, we have the height adjustable changing bench, and then we also have the height adjustable basin, um, so that different users can use it. You've got people coming in, different ages, um, different needs, different wheelchairs. You've also then got the privacy screen. The purpose of it is, is that um, somebody can come in with maybe two carers, rather than just one, um, and they can be hoisted onto the um, changing bench, maybe undressed, and the privacy screen gives them privacy from maybe a family member or somebody else who's in the changing place at the same time, but isn't actually um, giving them personal care. Um, well, it's just, it's been really exciting having the changing places toilet. Um, I think it's a real source of pride for the galleries. Um, we are really able to welcome and engage with um, an audience with more complex disabilities for the first time properly. So yeah, the, the whole thing's really been about teamwork and about learning and um, as I say, it's a source of pride for everyone to have a changing places toilet. Um, but it really started with visitors telling us what they needed.